One of these days I'm gonna get in trouble doing this. One of these days I'm gonna come up on someone and that's gonna be awkward. Hello? Hello? I haven't been here in a while. So I'd check it out. This is a non-motorized trail, but uh, when I got on the access, this guy came up behind me on a mini bike. I have a feeling. He might be one of the homeless people who live out here. This is the same place uh, that I was at a few years ago when I, when I discovered that old homeless encampment. Let's see, I got another trail heading this way. There's no fresh tracks on it. So never know what I'm gonna find here. A homeless encampment right on the trail here. Oh yeah, it's been here a while. Wow. Not even trying to stay hidden. I was just uh, checking out this little game trail here. And I noticed this stick. This thorny stick crossing the path. And I first thought, okay, this is telling me that Nobody ever goes this way. Or it could be that somebody placed that there to be able to tell if somebody's gone through. But so much for that. Uh huh. Yeah. This area is pretty active. These days, I'm gonna get in trouble doing this. One of these days, I'm gonna come up on someone, and that's gonna be awkward. I'm gonna follow this one, see where this takes us. I think I was here before. Yeah, yeah, somebody had an encampment right here once, I remember. Yeah, so behind me right there is a, uh, another trail that uh, it goes back quite a ways and uh, there's gonna be homeless stuff up there too. I've got two sets of prints, evidence of bicycles and whatnot here. I've got a trail to my left. Yeah, pretty sure that's the one that leads to the uh, big homeless encampment I took a video of a few years ago. I don't know, no reason to go down there. Yeah, things are a little bit more full than I've seen them here before, foliated. And I was hoping I wouldn't be uh, in this area. I had a trip I was gonna take. Okay, okay, uh, okay. I think I was wrong about that one path. I think I'm really curious. I'm really curious what's down there. Damn, there's another path right in front of me here too. Yeah, I guess I am being Mr. Curious. Anyhow, I was supposed to be up in the Great Lakes area. They're getting choked by uh, the smoke of Canadian wildfires right now. And the airline was really jacking me around. I eventually had to cancel. So yeah, down here in the Florida sweat box, poking around in my local woods, inhabited local woods. I have not seen this trail before. I got fresh, fresh blue blazes. I have not seen that before.
Yeah, I've been here. Okay. Well, I don't remember. I don't remember this gate over here. I just came from right there. I just came right out of there where that blaze is. That's the main trail. What is up here? Yeah, yeah, they put this in. I have not seen this. This is new. This is new. Interesting. I'm going to continue through the woods here. Yeah, it's got this right here. This is continuing. And I've been down here too. trail and but I saw this pile first of course it's out here in the open looks like uh someone's gathered it up I did see the uh the shelter back there hello hello someone's got a makeshift shelter here whoa check this out Uh-huh. Well, here's where I'm running into a spot in the video where uh, I was fumbling my equipment. I didn't uh, get the video. I did get some audio of my comments at the time, but uh, unfortunately, we're all being cheated out of what made the story of this video, which was that after I had checked out that uh that shelter and it appeared to me to be unoccupied and there didn't seem to be anybody else around that uh that i continued on and did some exploring found out that uh, uh this person uh was set up in an area that was you know within a couple hundred yards of of uh, other people's residences and stuff it was comparatively high risk uh, for being discovered so I'm going to go ahead and run the audio and uh, let the audio tell a story, then I'll uh, come back for a second. I mean, I stuck my head in there. Did you see any evidence of somebody in there? I'm going to have to check that when I get home because I went out beyond there and ended up coming out in a few hundred, couple hundred yards, ended up like coming into like people's backyards and stuff. And I walked past the uh, shelter again. I heard somebody cough. I swear I didn't see anybody in there. I got a little sketched out, I gotta admit. Um, I imagine that person was pretty sketched out if they were aware of my presence. They might not have been aware of my presence because they coughed or maybe they were just signaling that they were there. Man, I, I, I have a lot of sympathy and respect for these people that's why I uh, attempted to announce myself as I was approaching the shelter. Um, I mean, that, that life is tough. I'm glad that this area, they, they seem to be tolerated for the most part in this area. Because I know it's a tough life and it's not a convenient area. What's convenient about it is, is that it provides a lot of cover. So I asked in the video, it's like, Man, did you see any movement when I stuck my camera in there? just a second or two or anything did you see anything let me know uh what you think boy out in the sun man that's killing me i've been sitting here at uh, picking a table in the shade it's pretty open back here it's allowing the breeze to come through it's cooling me down but uh from where i sit right now i have a pretty good view about i can see about 100 yards down the trail there and you know, hearing that person cough after I had passed that encampment you know, kind of sketched me out. So I just kind of wondered, hoping I'm not getting tailed or anything like that, you know. I don't know why they'd want to do something like that, because, you know, Jesus, I mean, they'd be the one to be freaking out, not me, right? 
Not much to see. Oh, there's still somebody in that car. It's hot. I'm going home. So much for getting out and doing something today. All right. Thanks for watching this far into the video. And for that, I really just want to send you this reflective Zonate YouTube sticker while supplies last. You won't be added to any email list or anything like that, but email me on the link below and I will send this out to you.